to Tanya LTV. Today on the menu, I am making fried chicken, honey, with ginger and garlic sauce drizzled all over the top of it. It's going to be so good. All right, let me show you what I'm working with right here. I have my chicken already pre-washed and I have it in a Ziploc bag and I'm going to show you why in just a second. I have my seasonings. Here you see smoked paprika, chili powder, mustard powder, onion and garlic powder, and Himalayan salt. I have my delicious homemade butter. Honey, if you don't know how to make homemade butter, I will leave a link below and up top so you can learn how to make it. This butter has basil, ginger, and salt, and some herbs in it, honey. You can make whatever type of butter you like if you follow those instructions. All right, next I have flour and cornstarch mixed. Equal parts. I'm gonna take my seasoning and stir it around. Get it ready for this chicken. All right, so I have my little kitchen hammer, if you will. <laughs> okay guys, cute, funny story. When I was little, my mother was in the kitchen with one of these things and she was just beating, 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 beating the chicken breast. I thought she was mad. I mean, I was young, you know? And so I said, Mom, what's wrong? Are you upset? She said, no, this is a kitchen hack, honey. This thing right here, this is your chicken breast hack. A lot of people don't like chicken breast because they say it's too thick, too dry. This is what you need right here. If you beat this chicken, honey, it will come out so good. And I like it because it kind of spreads that chicken out. It makes it chewable and it doesn't become dry. All right, guys, let's get it going. I already have this pre-done and I'm just going to beat the heck out of this chicken. <laughs> my mother's a lot of the little kitchen gadgets you see me working with sometimes are they probably belong to my mother as well all right guys now it's time to take our yes I went old school on you guys I have a paper bag now it's blue but it's okay I'm going to take my flour and cornstarch and I'm going to put it right on in here. Yes, honey. All right, so I'm going to set that to the side. And we're going to get our chicken breast out of here into this pan so we can season it really well. See how flat they are? They are so much thinner and we will enjoy it a whole lot better that way so there's a chicken hack if you didn't already know now you know all right let's get rid of this so i'm going to take my seasoning and i'm just going to cover my chicken breast you want these seasoned very well to perfection honey to perfection all right and I'm just gonna mix this all up and throw them in this bag and shake them up shake them and get it over to my cast iron where I already have my canola oil heated up and ready for this chicken to fry
drop two. Seal the deal. Shake, 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 you see ginger paste, herbs deprovin, a little bit of crushed red pepper, and mixed garlic. And this bowl here, there's rosemary, nature season, onion, and garlic powder. All right, so I'm going to chop up my red onions. Did I say red onions? Really? I'm going to chop up my green onions and stick them right in this bowl. Got them in there. In they go. I'm going to add all of my seasonings right on in here. Now this is going to cover this awesome chicken that I just made. I'm going to grab my butter and I'm going to slice that right in half. Now the butter is already packed with great flavors. But honey, we're going to make it better. Mix this up. Once you have this mixed up well, I'm going to take it over and put it in my pot and cook it just for a little bit to kind of melt it all together and get ready for the drizzle. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to get my lemon and you know how we do with our lemons. We have to roll our lemons. Let's get this out of the way. We don't need any accidents. Once the lemon gets soft, Then you can squeeze some juice over into your bowl. You know what? When I roll these lemons, the oil that comes from, oh my goodness, guys, it smells so good. All right, I'm getting it pretty soft. But before it gets too soft, I'm going to add just a little bit of lemon zest right on into my sauce mixture just to kind of give a little bit more lemon flavor to it yeah that's good because we're still going to add our lemon to it all right so i am going to take just a little and we're going to stick it into our sister and Voila, we're gonna squeeze that juice in there. Now you don't want too much lemon juice. So I didn't put a whole lot, just enough to kind of wake these flavors up and give it like a really good flavor. All right. In that saucepan, it got ready guys. I cannot begin to tell you how amazing it smells in here. All right, I have my chicken out of the oil, and it's time to plate it up, guys. So, I'm going to take my chicken here, and we're gonna just put another piece over the top, just like so. I'm gonna get this out of the way. And I'm getting ready to put my sauce on here. Guys, this sauce smells so, so, Right here. Alrighty, you 
already know what time it is. Honey, it's time to indulge. All right, it's time for my taste test. Let's dig in these mashed potatoes first. Now these are homemade cheese and garlic mashed potatoes. If you would like to learn how to make these, drop me a comment below and I'll make a video and show you. Those are super good, guys. Super duper, duper, duper good. Now I'm getting to my chicken, honey. Mm. This sauce is absolutely phenomenal. It's delicious. And it has like a little bit of heat, but not too much. It's very balanced. This makes this chicken out of sight. All right, guys, you know what to do. Live, love, laugh, and create. Until next time.